a grey base coat, paint all of the armoured areas with XV88 um, using thin layers and multiple coats where needed. You don't need to be necessarily neat with this stage as every other colour is darker so any overspill will be corrected. Paint the armoured areas now with tow light ochre, the XV88 allowing for a solid base coat. Um, I probably went a bit too thin on the first layer here, but nice and thin layers and take your time just to get that smooth finish on the flatter panels. Paint all of the dark brown areas with Rhinox hide. So this is really the undersuit um, between the armor panels and around the helmet. This color is a lot darker than the Talite Hoker, so do your best not to spill over. But if that happens, just to correct. And in fact, in this video throughout, I do spills of washes and all sorts of different colors onto the armor. And just correct it as you go to make sure that the final stage of the armor is nice and clean. Base coat the skin areas using the fang um, for most of these models it's just the feet or rather the toes of the feet um, and then on the leaders the face as well the nails or whatever they are at the end of the feet with corpus black wash these three colors with null oil you can also choose to wash the brown in something like agrax or ched but actually with the bright armor the darker color of the undersuit makes that pop a little bit more and just to avoid any collection in the recesses. With a one-to-one -one mix of wildwood and contrast medium, pick out the recesses and the armour. This step does take quite a while, and two things I'd point out would be one, on the older scope, sometimes these recesses are quite shallow, so you need to almost just paint the line as opposed to assuming it'll dip into the recess. The other thing as well is if you look later in this, particularly on the gun, there's actually areas that end up being painted black anyway, so there's probably a, a line of logic that says paint those first so you don't have to end up spending time shading like this in areas that are going to end up black anyway. And just take your time with it and correct any overspill. paint the tau sept insignia on the shoulder pad with corax white cover the entire emblem the raised areas are actually going to end up as black but just allows for easier painting than in the recesses as well Paint the black areas of the gun and the raised parts of the tow insignia with a bad and black, um, keeping this thin in two, maybe even three layers, make sure that the finish is uniform across these areas.
now paint the large rivet. I mean, for the life of me, I have no idea what it is. The bit at the end of the gun, wretched bit of armor. I'm doing your best to allow it not to fall into the recesses that are already shaded. But if that happens, it's okay because it'll be shaded in the next step. And the gold area is now with gum and flesh contrast paint. Highlight the black areas with an edge highlight of Mechanica Standard Grey. Use the edge of the tip of the brush where possible to catch the raised edges, but any areas that you can do this, just try to paint thin lines. And remember, you can always kind of subtractively edge highlight by painting over the thicker lines with a band black. Also, edge highlight the nails on the feet with this colour as well. Page highlight the flesh areas now with Fenrisian grey. Edge highlight all of the armor areas with Ungor flesh. Now when I say all, there's definitely areas you could leave out. So on the leg parts that are segmented, it'd be very difficult to paint all of those edges. So just stick to the, the outside edges and the kind of mid lines where the armor bends on itself, just as there. So it's kind of an easy raised area to pick out. Take your time with this step. Unfortunately, as I've said before, even though these are troops, the way to paint them like the box art requires a lot of kind of edge highlighting. Um, but take your time with it and it is, it is worth the, the effort. Highlight the brown areas using Gorthor brown and any areas that are kind of prominent would really be the thicker or the most prominent folds on the undersuit and any of the sharper edges. Um, you could always go back with a second colour like Bane Blade Brown to do a second highlight, but one, one colour is absolutely fine. Base coat any areas you want to glow blue with Soltec Green. So for me it was these two lights I suppose on the side of the scope of the gun and the actual end of the barrels as well. I thought it was a nice effect to give a kind of a glow as well as if the gun had just fired. Paint the centre of these areas now with Temple Guard Blue. Um, the lights on the gun, it's just basically just dots of this colour. And then on the end of the barrel, it's just painting to allow some of the colour at the edges, but most of it to be coloured in the Temple Guard Blue.
finish these areas now with a dot highlight of thinned blue hair. Blue hair is an edge paint, so it is quite thick, so thin it down just to allow it to flow easier off the brush. any of the red areas with a base coat of mephiston red so for me it's the eye lenses and then the i don't know the screen part of the scope i've just picked it out just to make it interesting now because this is an older sculpt i don't know if this top area is supposed to be a complete lens or is there supposed to be a armored kind of ring around it so whatever the model looks like yourself paint a dot of uh, evil sun scarlet in the center of these areas and on the scope of the gun just to kind of cover most of the red area allowing some of the piston red still be visible finish these red areas with a dot highlight of fire dragon bright at the eye lenses and a kind of a line highlight in the center of the lens on the scope And if you're bored, you can go ahead and do a line highlight of Liberator Gold on the gold areas. Um, really, I suppose this is just to make the area be more metallic looking, to make it more distinct from the rest of the barrel of the gun. And this is the finished result. If you like this tutorial, please check out the channel where I have numerous other painting videos. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing to be kept up to date.